How's it going, everybody? This is another video write-up for the challenge Hard Shells from ICTF 2018. Again, still, the website infrastructure is down, so unfortunately I cannot show you challenge prompt and stuff like that, but we do have the file that we originally start with and download. It's just called Hard Shells, and it has no file extension, so if you want to kind of get a better idea of what this thing is, run file on it, do some reconnaissance, and it turns out it is a zip archive. So we can go ahead and extract it, but it needs to have the zip file extension for unzip to actually want to handle it, so just move it and rename it to hardshells.zip. Again, we can run file on it, still the same thing. Unzip it, and it says, hey, we want to know a password. So, okay, great. Let's go through some typical low-hanging fruit. Let's just try and run like a brute force dictionary attack on this thing to try and uncover the password. I'm going to end up using rockyou.txt. If you don't have rockyou.txt, you can probably just go ahead and download it. Literally Googling rockyou.txt. Yeah, that should get you to a URL and a place to download it. And um, It's a ginormous, like kind of the de facto standard for going, going towards a dictionary attack. So let's locate rockyou. I know I've got it somewhere on my file system. And, whoa, sorry, that's a lot of stuff. Bring it to this directory, and now we've got it. Cool. And I'll go ahead and use my favorite tool for cracking zip passwords. I know you could use zip to John, but I like to use fcrackzip. And again, I think you should be able to just, like, sudo apt install this one if it's in your repositories. I repeatedly forget the syntax for it, and I always have to just go ahead and grab this link, um, this syntax from this thing online. Again, just Googling fcrackzip, doing your own thing. We can paste that in here, and we're going to change the word file or the dictionary file that we're using to rockyou.txt, and we're going to change this to hardshells.zip so it knows what we're working with. And it gets the password in just a couple seconds, less than uh, tacos. Let's go ahead and unzip hardshells.zip, and we'll use tacos as our password, and it goes ahead and extracts it for us. So it creates a new directory, hardshells. We can move over there, and we get this file D, which... Uh, we don't know what it particularly is, so again, let's run the file command on it. It turns out it's a Minix file system. So if it's a file system, cool. Maybe we can mount it. We can explore whatever files are particularly in there. So you need a directory to be able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and create one just here locally, call it mount point, and then I will mount D at that mount point. However, I will need to run sudo to run that command as root. Type in your password, not echoed on the screen. Once that's done, you see mount point. We can head over to that, and we have a new file called dat, but it just is supposedly data. So, what the heck? No real inkling of what it could be. Let's go ahead and open it up in a hex editor, and if you don't have hex edit, it's one of my favorite ones, it's just command line. You can probably use like g hex or bless or some other hex editor, but sudo apt install hex edit if you want it. And then hex edit dat. So, hex on the little middle side here in the big column, uh, ASCII interpretation on the right, and as you look, explore this and look through it, you can probably see immediately some things like IHDR or IDAT. So IHeader and IData, uh, typically like these, these are section headers for a PNG file or a portable network graphics image file. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and determine like PNG magic header, or if you wanted to just, if you didn't know what I was talking about, you could go ahead and Google IHDR or IDAT. It'll tell you, okay, this is a PNG. It says the portable network graphics file has all this information on it. And if we wanted to know like the PNG magic header, or the magic bytes, the first couple of bytes for it, it does start with these hexadecimal numbers or essentially PNG written in ASCII. So if you saw, ours does not say PNG, it says pug. So let's go ahead and change this U to an N. I moved between uh, hex and ASCII just by hitting the tab key. So then we can hit control O, save changes, uh, just hit enter for the file name, it should save it A-OK. -okay. I use control X to break out, and then if I run file on dat, now it thinks it's a PNG image file, and we can I have known that, just open it up, dat, and we get this file, which does have our flag for us right down here, ICTF, look away, I'm hacking. So, let's go ahead and jot that down. We could submit it for points if the competition were still rolling, but uh, let's actually move that flag out of the mount point and mark this challenge as complete. Pretty awesome. That's a, a big one just about knowing your tools, knowing your toolkit, knowing how you can you can brute force the password for a zip archive. RockU is kind of, again, de facto standard for like dictionary lists, and fcrackzip is pretty awesome in doing that stuff. And then just doing some reconnaissance, like learning what to do with a file system, how can I mount it, how can I explore it, and taking a look at what the files it really has. What's up, everybody? Thank you.
I was going to do my intro for the video again, but I realized that that was not, I, I'd like, I always pause my recording to get back to the Patreon supporter slide. And I don't know when my, why in my mind I thought I was like restarting the video. I was going to do another intro. You guys are fantastic. I love you. Thank you so much for your support and donation. It really means the world to me. $1 a month or more on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this. Uh, every $5 you give every month is early access. That's a special tier where you can uh, get shared to a Google Drive folder that includes all the files and videos and stuff that I'll make and put on YouTube uh, immediately once I've got it like done and recorded. You don't have to wait for it to go live on YouTube. Once it's scheduled and gradually releasing, you can get it right away. So if you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Um, join our Discord server. Link in the description. It's awesome. Really cool place to hang out with cool people that play CTFs, that program, that hack, do cool stuff. You can hang out with me and others that are CTF players, programmers, hackers, and all the words that I just said. I hate doing this outro, guys. I love you. See you later. Hope to see you on Patreon. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.